Uh, there are so many things we can talk about, so many challenges for the American people over the next few months as they try to restore America to its place as the envy of the world, the great country. We could be talking about immigration and uh, 150,000 people a month crossing the border. We could talk about the divisive rhetoric from way too many Democrats finding racism here, there, and everywhere and blaming all of America's problems on racism. Uh, we could be talking about other problems, but tonight we're going to be talking about the ridiculous amount of overspending, which is debasing the value of the dollar and resulting in the inflation that is hurting and harming American families so much, be it the cost of cars, be it the cost of food, being the cost of energy. America must not forget where this inflation came from. It came from the American Rescue Plan, one of the first bills passed under President Biden. It was continued by the, by the infrastructure bill, another over $1 trillion of spending. And finally, the Reduce Inflation Act, another $700 billion. This in addition to the large increases in the regular budgets Congress always passes. So we've been out of control on the regular budgets, and now you hear these three additional bills which are causing the huge increases in prices that you see at the gas pump, but even more at the grocery store, at the restaurants, when you're looking to buy a house or the rent. Where did this come from? It's not a natural thing to happen. It came because of out-of-control spending on all three of these bills. And worse, in addition to the out-of-control spending leading to the inflation, we have the... Um, uh, we have where the money went, and we are spending more and more money on programs conditioned upon not working very hard, programs conditioned to take the benefit on not getting married. So in addition to, I assume, intentional desire to debase the currency, we continue down the path of uh, moral decline as we encourage money to be spent in the wrong place. So I encourage the American people in the future, when you decide, um, decide how you want your country governed, when you go to the office hours back home, when you call your congressman, ask them, where do you stand on these big spending programs? And now we have another one coming down the pike, another $400 billion in student loan debt forgiveness. Where's that money going to come from? I'll tell you where the money's going to come from. To a certain extent, it's going to be paid by future generations, but more immediately, it's going to be paid for the American public again. The $400, $400 billion will result in higher gas prices, higher food prices, higher automobile prices. That's where the money's going to come from. Wake up, America. These things are not free, and the politicians who have passed these programs in the past are responsible for the additional amount of money we're spending. So there are a variety of things we could look at. We could look at, as, as we worry so much about this great America that was built, built by our ancestors, all the people who died in the wars, that we may have this great free country, and we see it slipping away as we have out-of-control politicians, as people frequently say happens in democracies, out-of-control politicians buying votes by spending more money on everybody under the sun, um, that is where this inflation comes from. Please, America, wake up. Uh, like I said, we could talk about what's going on at the border. We could talk about screaming about inflation. We could talk about the attacks on the police, and with the attacks on the police, the inevitable rise in crime as police are afraid to do what they want. But tonight we talk about the out-of-control spending as way too many Americans, including a lot of businesses, by the way, again and again come to their congressmen and ask for more free money. And it wasn't free. I hope the next time you go to the grocery store, the next time you look to to buy a new car and you see the huge sticker shock, you remember the politicians who are bragging about all the new money they're spending. Thank you very much.